Isaiah chapter 33 is a prophecy given to Judah during the time when the king of Assyria has invaded and conquered Israel and is looking to do the same to Judah. Isaiah 33 is a parallel passage to what is taking place in 2 Kings 18 and 19, as well as 2 Chronicles 32, where the story of Sennacherib, the new king of Assyria, has set his sights now on Judah. It's with this formidable army sweeping through Israel that Isaiah is given this message from God. He begins in verses 1 through 4 with the earnest expectation that God will ultimately crush the Assyrian army, which he has used to judge Israel for their wickedness. Before God does that, though, he will allow Assyria to invade Judah and teach the people to trust the one true God. As it says in verses 2 through 4, O Lord, be gracious to us. We wait for you. Be our arm every morning, our salvation in the time of trouble. At the tumultuous noise, peoples flee. When you lift yourself up, nations are scattered, and your spoil is gathered as the caterpillar gathers. As locusts sleep, it is leapt upon. Even though Judah had its failures, which brought about God's judgment, God is promising to preserve Judah and to not allow Jerusalem to be overthrown by Assyria. Through this situation, God will be glorified when the people of Judah turn to him and depend upon him fully. So what can we learn from this today? First, that God is just to judge wickedness, which we see both in the account of God punishing his own people and then also punishing the wicked Assyrians. The second thing we see is that God is faithful to those who trust in him. Even when things seem bleak, God will use it for our benefit and for his glory. And that is something we can take comfort in today.